Well, gentlemen, thank you for coming into my office. I want to let you know that we found out that you faked your service hours on the, the X2 Vault platform. Uh, for that reason, you are failing Catholic theology for this semester, and you will have to take Catholic theology again next year in addition to uh, 12th grade Catholic theology. Uh, so you'll have to double up on Catholic theology next year. Uh, we might also have to do summer school, but we can talk about that at a later time. Okay. okay. Well, I'm glad you guys came in today. We need to have a serious discussion about the artwork that you've been turning in for your projects. I have worked tirelessly to come up with lesson plans that are meaningful. And this is what you turn in? This is what you turn in for your art project? A smiley face and a stick figure? Nothing. They're off. They don't even deserve to be on the wall. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, Mr. Hintz, based on your grades and your behavioral records, I think we're going to have to recommend that suspension and expulsion in the near future for you. Okay. okay. Matthew, if you look right here, Sebastian, you guys, uh, your last show got 67 views. I wanted 70! Happy, Happy National, National OK, okay Day, Day Crusaders. Crusaders. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Brendan Keen. I'm Matthew Hintz. And I'm Leslie Fuentes, and we're bringing the news from the 007 studio. All underclassmen retrieve permission slips are due today to Mr. Potts. Freshmen do not have to complete a permission slip since they will stay on campus. Seniors helping with the freshman retreat also do not need permission slips. Now to Brendan for today's clubs. The Archery Club will meet today after school in the cafeteria. The Rock Band will also meet today after school in the music room. The Book Club will not meet Monday since it will be spring break. They will meet April 3rd at 2.50 in the library. They will finish discussing Maze Runner and then watch the movie. Popcorn and snacks will be provided. This meeting will run until 4.45 because of the movie. That's it for today's clubs and that of Leslie for more news. In honor of Women's History Month, we're sharing stories of real worthy women who helped shape U.S. history. Today we'll include a few short tributes to three different women. Susan B. Anthony played a pitiful role in the women's suffrage movement. In 1878, she and co-workers presented an amendment to Congress that would give women the right to vote. In 1920, Senator Aaron A. Sargent introduced the bill and it was ratified as the 19th Amendment in the Constitution. Barbara Jordan was a lawyer, educator, politician, and civil rights movement leader. She was the first Southern African-American woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives and the first African-American woman to give a keynote address at the Democratic National Convention. Harriet Beecher Stowe was an author and abolitionist. Her most well-known work is the novel Uncle Tom's Cabin, which portrayed the impact of slavery on families and children. Its impact led in Stowe's meeting with President Abraham Lincoln. Let's all acknowledge the challenges women have faced throughout U.S. history and honor their contributions as well. Now to Brendan for today's sports. There are no sports events this week. In other sports news, a brief call-out meeting for any girls interested in playing basketball next year will be held tomorrow after school in the gym. In more sports news, Sierra Lathrop will sign a letter of intent to play volleyball at Muskegon University in Ohio. The signing will be held after school on the stage in the gym. Please come out to support your friend and or teammate as she celebrates the opportunity to extend her volleyball career at the next level. In still more sports news, congrats to Keaton Tebow and Caleb Milan for being named to the all-conference team. They were voted in by the ICC coaches. Congrats to Keaton also for being named Honorable Mention All-State. Way to represent Cecina, guys. That's it for today's sports. Now to Leslie for more news. Now let's check out quote of the day. Prom will be held May 13th from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Indianapolis Zoo Dolphin Pavilion. A dress code policy will be strictly enforced this year. So here's a reminder of the rules as you plan the outfit you will rock at prom.
you must be in dress code to enter prom. If any girls have questions about their outfit and want to get it approved, they can see Miss Quigley. Guys can see Mr. Schroeder with any questions. Please note that these same dress code guidelines will be strictly enforced for guests as well as Cecina students. If you want to bring a guest who is not a Cecina student, please pick up a guest form in the office. Forms are due to Mr. Schroeder by April 28th. More info on tickets will be shared as we get closer to the big day. Now, to get for a look at our weather forecast. Thanks, Lindsay. Today we're looking at a high of 64 and a low of 41. Rain or storms are expected throughout the day, especially after 3 p.m. It'll be cooler the next couple of days with the highs around 50 degrees. Rain is expected to continue through Saturday. Try to stay dry for Saturdays. Now back to Leslie for more news. Thanks, Adriana. You know, the weather we've been having these last couple days, like mid-50s, a little bit of light rain, that like crisp piece of wind. It's, like, it's the weather I live for, man. Yeah, I'm just liking that it's warming up. Spring is finally here. Hopefully we don't get any crazy weather. Just regular spring weather. And hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully. Now let's see what we're having for lunch. Today we're having cheese or combo pizza with broccoli. Tomorrow it'll be a choice of cheese quesadilla, tuna salad, egg salad, or fish sandwich. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change. Happy birthday. 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 Yoo-hoo. Oh yeah. That's it for today's show. Stay classy. And give that little extra.